we are now four days into 2024 and to be quite honest time is going by a lot faster than we think by the time you know it we'll be in december of this year looking forward to 2025 and that's crazy to be quite honest that is going to be crazy but the good thing is we're still in the beginning we're not in the end game yet and i think this year has the potential to be one of the best years for a lot of people out there if they make good of it if they stay productive stay motivated stay disciplined i think this can be a life-changing year for a lot of people if they take real advantage of it today i want to emphasize the importance of being productive this year because for me i think that's what's gonna really set you off to achieving those goals you plan out for yourself and avoid those distractions that are unavoidably gonna come i have three points that i think will definitely give you an idea to keep things in mind going through the course of this year because there's a lot of things that are gonna happen this year is gonna be although it's gonna go by fast it's gonna be very long as well let's be quite fair right you're gonna go through problems highs and lows but incorporating these three things i definitely believe no matter which way things decide to sway you you'll stay on track to achieving these goals and i am going to be someone who follows these as well i've been doing this since uh, i went on break from school about three weeks ago and i think for sure these tips will help and i want to share it with you guys so firstly being productive isn't just about doing more work in less time but it's about making sure the work you do has value right let's be quite honest here if you have a strong why as to what you want to do right as to the goals you want to achieve and if you have a strong why behind it there is no reason why you can't achieve those goals i certainly believe that if you want it bad enough you'll do whatever it takes to get there obviously moral standards but you'll do whatever it takes you'll put in the work you'll stay motivated you'll stay disciplined because you want it that bad if you aim to make a million dollars I don't think you have to rely on motivation from a video like this or anybody, to be quite fair, to put in that work to get there because you have a strong why behind it. And having a strong why will, will honestly be what carries you. It will carry you throughout this year and make sure that you're reminded of why you're going for what you're going for. Have a strong why. My second tip, second, second, second tip is to set achievable goals but to eliminate distractions because my goodness is that going to be the hardest thing distractions are going to come let's be honest there will be things that pull you in all sorts of directions this year and i definitely believe that if you are able to stay strong and your why is strong enough you will be able to come right back on track and go towards those things again for me, I believe there's no bigger distraction out there than social media, than social media, than the phones we use, because those, my goodness, are the ones that definitely keep us occupied for no reason. I definitely believe that there is a reason why we do it, because last year, I'll say I'm, I was guilty of that as well. You know, I wasted unnecessary time scrolling through Instagram and TikTok. Oh my gosh. It was... But if you have a strong reason why behind your goals, and you prioritize them enough, you won't fall into those traps. What I did was I started my supposed New Year's during the winter break. I was off of school. And I noticed that, you know, my social media consumption dropped when I was prioritizing these goals. I only went on there to post content here and there. But otherwise, I wasn't really scrolling for any type of reason. And to be quite fair, that is the way to do it. You have to have a strong reason behind your goals that will occupy you enough so that you don't have to force yourself to even stop using the, the, the social media platforms. You will unavoidably stop because, well, you're aiming for something better. So avoid distractions and make sure that you have a good system for your goals and plans. And I might make a video in the future about how to build a good system, but just keep that in mind for now. And my last point is to take things one day at a time because this year will fly by like last year did if you do not do that you will reach the end of 2024 in december 
and be like, my word, the time will go by so fast. If you don't take it one day at a time, if you don't stay present, stay present. I believe we're certainly more in control of our time than you think. We just allow ourselves to get stuck in our heads so much. I'm guilty of this as well. I'm sometimes still working on but we get stuck in our heads and all of a sudden we're losing track of time. One day is Monday, the next is Saturday and you're like, wait, how do I get here? <laughs> because we're stuck in our heads. We're not fully aware of what we're doing. But if we take this one day at a time and we stay present, we'll be able to make use of the time that we have because everybody has the same 24 hours. It's just about what you choose to do with them. If you choose to use an hour to scroll on social media and then stop turning to three, keep yourself accountable and say, it's me who gave it three hours of time. Because to be quite honest, staying present will be the most important thing, I believe, in making sure you can achieve these goals this year. These ambitions you set out for yourself. If you don't do that, you'll definitely get lost in the sauce, as people say, right? <laughs> but those are my three tips, honestly. I definitely believe that if you have a strong reason behind your goals and you avoid distractions and you stay present, there is no reason as to why you can't achieve your goals by the end of this year or earlier, to be quite honest, or earlier, because the work you do will definitely get to do, get you to the place you need to be. And what you put your energy towards will inevitably come back to you. As a Muslim, I very, very much believe that. Very much. Stay productive. Make sure you develop a system that will keep you occupied. Have a good reason behind the goals you are chasing. Make sure those reasons are enough or are strong enough that they push you away from anything that can distract you and keep you right on that straight path. And make sure you take things one day at a time and stay present because you're going to want to try to be in control of time. Now, I'm not saying that you won't fall. This is going to be a long year as well. Although it's going to go by very fast, it's also going to be a long year. So make sure you stay present and you use your time wisely. I think you should treat every hour of the day like it's your last and really make the most out of it. Make the most out of it. And if you do that, I don't see why you can't achieve these goals by the end of this year. So those are the tips for me. I'm going to be following these as well for sure and keeping you guys updated. But let me know what you guys think like comment subscribe and there'll be more videos like this coming in the future so stay tuned i'm excited for where things are heading and i definitely want to take you guys along this journey and see where things goes thank you for tuning in and uh, see you next time